David and his daughter Sarah, were extremely close. Unfortunately, David passed away when Sarah was only five years old. At the funeral, Sarah decided to give her father a final hug. What happened next shocked everyone. David came from a poor family and had a dream of breaking the cycle of poverty that had been passed down through generations. Unfortunately, his parents passed away before they could realize their dream. Determined to change his own life, David sought ways to create a brighter future for himself. He worked on construction sites and then sold fruits on the roadside. Sometimes, he also worked late nights in factories to earn extra money for his business. After his shift, he would head straight to his store and sell his products without sleep or rest. One day, David met Sophia in the store. He was instantly struck by her beauty. A walk, then enchanting eyes and a beaming smile. Sophia would come for fruit every day at the same time. This continued for several weeks, and before David realized it, he had fallen in love with her. During this time, Sophia and David became close friends quickly, but the man desired more. He wanted Sophia in his life and wanted to express his true feelings to her. One day, when a severe storm was forecasted, it seemed as if fate had provided him with just such an opportunity. David had brought a significant amount of fruit that day, so he apologized to the customers after everything had been sold out. However, he saved his favorite apples for Sophia, hoping she would appear. It must have been a lucky day for him, as she arrived only a few minutes later. As David was serving the apples, it began to rain suddenly. The man panicked because he needed to quickly gather all the counters before it started raining. I did not ruin everything. The person in question was experiencing financial difficulties, and therefore any unplanned expenses were not available at that time. To their surprise, Sophia assisted them. It only took them a few minutes, but the young people were still wet. David profusely apologized to the young woman, but she waved him off with a soft smile. They took refuge at a bus shelter and talked for several hours in the heavy rain. While David and Sophia were talking, he could no longer control his feelings. Eventually, he confessed his love for her and his desire to have her in his life. Sophia was silent for a moment, overwhelmed by emotion. Then with a warm smile on her face, she asked, Why has it taken so long? I have been dreaming about this moment. Following these words between them, their relationship soon blossomed into something wonderful. At times, Sophia would join David on the streets to sell fruit. Their relationship was wonderful, and this attracted customers to their small restaurant. Soon, a good profit appeared, and after a few months, David was able to open a larger store. He regarded Sophia as his mascot, and his affection for her grew even stronger. As David's business expanded rapidly, his relationship with Sophia progressed even more quickly. The pair had a premonition that they would not spend much time together. After only six months, they started living together and, after four more months, got married. The couple truly desired to start a family, but despite all their attempts, they were unable to conceive a child. Sophia felt anxious. She often stayed awake all night and wept. David would awaken, take a deep breath, and reassure her that one day, they would have their own children. Two years later, Sophia became pregnant. The couple rejoiced. Sophia's pregnancy progressed smoothly. And eventually, the happy couple welcomed a baby girl, whom they named Sarah. Beautiful. She had the dreamy eyes of her mother and the arched eyebrows of her father. Sarah's parents noticed that their daughter was a genius at a young age. By the time she was three, she could already read well and had strong mathematical abilities. Their family was a close-knit unit, doing everything together and enjoying each other's company. Unfortunately, their happiness was short-lived, as a tragic incident occurred on Sarah's fifth birthday. The family was engaged in indoor activities when David suddenly collapsed. Sarah, in a state of panic, clung to her father and screamed, Dad, wake up! Thankfully, David regained consciousness after a few minutes, attributing the episode to stress and assuming it would not happen again. However, just a week later, he collapsed again. After these frightening incidents, the couple sought medical attention for the man, who underwent further examination. There, they learned that David was slowly passing away. He had been diagnosed with an incurable illness, and was immediately placed under medical observation. David's condition steadily deteriorated with each passing day. Sophia hid the news from Sarah, telling her that her father was in the hospital for some reason. Despite being young, Sarah sensed that her father was ill. After all, she had often visited him in the hospital with her mother, 
and immediately sensed something was wrong. Little Sarah was upset by Sophia's attempts to shield her from the truth. One afternoon, when Sophia was caring for David in the hospital room, Sarah suddenly grabbed her father's hand and asked, with a note of fear in her voice, Dad, are you going to die? Sophia stared at the little girl in disbelief. However, David stopped her and said with tears in his eyes, Yes, my dear. Dad won't be here much longer. In response to her father's words, Sarah expressed her affection by kissing him. She then took his hands and placed them on her lap, saying, Dad, you will always be here in my heart. Following this exchange, Sophia began bringing Sarah to see her father on a daily basis. In her daughter's presence, David appeared to regain some vitality. However, despite this, his condition continued to deteriorate at an alarming rate. Despite this challenging situation, Sarah maintained her strength and courage, holding back tears each time her father experienced a seizure. It soon became apparent to everyone that David's time was limited. Sophia refused to accept the reality of her husband's declining health. Why did you choose to leave us like this? She asked, tears welling in her eyes as she watched her husband lying motionless in the hospital bed. You promised to be there for me, to love me forever. Why can't you fight? What is it? Sophia asked angrily. David gathered his last remaining strength, pulled her towards him, hugged her, and said that he was truly sorry. However, Sophia slipped out of his embrace and ran away, tears blurring her vision. After Sophia left, Sarah spent the entire day with her father, refusing to allow anyone else into his room. She embraced her father tightly, and they both wept. Then they said their final goodbyes. The next day, David passed away peacefully in his sleep. When Sophia learned of her husband's death, she was devastated. Filled with regret and anger, she wished she had said goodbye properly, promised that she would always love him, and vowed never to marry another man. On the other hand, Sarah felt at peace. The wonderful conversations she'd had with her father had helped her find solace. Sophia continued to weep even at the funeral. Sarah was sad, yet her eyes remained dry. Before lowering David's casket, Sarah felt the need to embrace her beloved father one last time. All eyes watched with compassion as Sarah embraced her father for several moments, which seemed like an eternity to her. Tearful, the young girl's cheeks were stained with grief, and she soaked her father's funeral clothes with her tears. Sarah whispered soft words in her father's ear and then placed a final kiss on his forehead. At that moment, an unexpected occurrence occurred. A peregrine suddenly flew into the cemetery and landed on David's chest. The bird pecked Sarah gently, causing her lips to curve into a smile. While the adult stood in fear, even Sophia felt a slight unease, unsure of how to react, Sarah understood that pigeons symbolize peace and love. She interpreted this unusual event as her father's final way of expressing his affection. Years later, Sarah shared this experience with others. Her children and grandchildren spoke about the incredible bond of love that she shared with her father. They also expressed their admiration for Sarah. It is believed that the dove's presence symbolized Sarah's deep love for her father. Dear viewers, we would like to know your thoughts on this story. Please share them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.